Mm. Hello, my wonderful viewers, and welcome to another wonderful episode on Learn Yoruba Easily. Uh, today, we'll be considering a wonderful topic, a new topic, numbering or counting in Yoruba. Numbering or counting in Yoruba. Firstly, I must say a happy new year to you. Happy new year 2019. And I'm believing God that this year will be a great year for you and for me. And uh, I want to believe you have plans for this year 2019. Uh, I know you have um, your new year resolution and among your plans, I believe your one of one of them should be that you should understand Yoruba better in this year 2019. And if you have not put it among your plans, I want you to put it uh, among so that you you know you what if you fail to plan, you have already planned to fail. But if you planned plan if you plan well, definitely by the time the year is going to an end, you will just be happy and smiling yeah so i believe also when you plan as regards learning yoruba this year 2019 by the time the year is going to an end you will just be surprised to how well you have understood uh yoruba very well so um also i need to tell you that i do uh one-on-one -on -one lesson one-on-one -on -one teaching of yoruba so if you want a private teacher or you want a teacher for your student for your for your children or you want someone that you can communicate with one-on-one -on -one, you can just uh, contact me and we go from there yeah so numbering and counting in yoruba i believe you will enjoy this section yeah all right today we'll be today on numbering we'll be looking at counting from one to ten or numbering from one to ten but before i start that i want to start with uh some of those songs that were taught you know when we we're young learning yoruba in primary school you know we hear things like any ag eta erin arun efa aj ejo eson ewa yeah i just counted one to ten that is any ag eta erin arun efa aj ejo eson ewa all right and we have another one like one o con two ag three eta four erin 5 Arun, 6 Efa, 7 AJ, 8 Ejo, 9 Eson, 10 Ewa. Alright, don't worry. I believe you understand what I'm saying by the time we go deeper into it. Yeah. yeah. Firstly, I will start with zero. Zero. Now, zero is Odo. Odo. That is zero. In Yoruba is Odo. The next one is one. Now, one is any, the meaning of one is any, but when you are making use of one, you make use of it like, as you, you, you will say, ek or con, or ikon, or eyokon. I will repeat that. Okon, ikon, then eyokon. Those are the three uh, words you use when you want to make use of one. The meaning of one is any, but when you are making use of it, you have okon, ikon, or eyokon. But the three words can be abbreviated by the word kon, kon. And many a times when you are making use of one in Yoruba, you, 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 it's, it's even sweeter when you just use the word kon. All right, for example, you want to make use of one in Yoruba. Okay, you have something like one banana. One banana. Now, in Yoruba, banana is ogede. Ogede. Then I say one is better, you just use kon. So if I will use it in Yoruba, one banana will be ogede kon. Ogede kon. Actually, you can say ogede eyo kon. Or you can say ogede ikon or ogede okon, but it's just better you use the abbreviated word which is kon, that is ogede kon, one banana, ogede kon, one 
banana are you getting me now all right that's very good we move to the next number which is two two in yoruba means a g a g a g but when you want to make use of it when using two two becomes me g me g how uh, you, you 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 add the english alphabet m in front of a g it becomes me g me g when you are using two you it becomes me g but two actually means a g take for instance now you want to say two books two books book in yoruba is iwe then two books will become iwe meji iwe meji i will not say iwe eji do you get it now i will say iwe meji because i'm using two it will become meji but two actually means eji are you getting the difference now all right that's very good two books iwe me g all right i'm glad you are uh, understanding it and you are following it we are moving to the next number and the next number is three 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 in yoruba means meta sorry means eta eta now when you want to make use of three you will add the english letter m in front of eta and it becomes meta are you getting it now english theory means eta but when you are making use of it you add the english alphabet m in front of it and, and it becomes meta so theory in usage is meta meta now for example you want to say three shoes three shoes three shoes because shoe in yoruba is bata bata then three in when you are using making use of three is meta so you want to say three shoes three shoe becomes bata meta bata meta okay are you getting that all right that's good of you that's good of you okay what did i say uh zero is zero is what odo all right one i said one is what any and when you are making use of it you can say okon ikon eyokon but the abbreviated word is con which is far better in usage two i say two is what a g and when you are making use of two you say what me g three is what eta and when you are making use of three it becomes me ta now the next uh, number we are moving to is four 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 in yoruba means eri eri now when you are making use of it you add the english alphabet m in front of it and it becomes me -ri. are you getting that me -ri. now if you want to make use of four uh, in yoruba for example i said four in the use the usage of four is merry now you want to use it for example you want to say four caps four caps cap four caps now cap in yoruba means fila 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 so and i said four in the usage it means merry so i will say fila merry fila Mary, are you getting that now? All right, good of you. The next uh, number is number five. Number five, and number five in Yoruba is Arun. 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 Now, in the usage, you add the English letter or the English alphabet M in front of it, and it becomes Marun ma room are you getting that now all right okay take for instance you want to make use of five in yoruba you say five crown five crown you know the crown a king 
put on his head five crown now crown in yoruba means ade ade yes ade means crown in yoruba so and i said five in the usage means maroon so if i want to say five crown how would i what would i say okay i'm listening to you what am i going to say <laughs> all right five crown will now becomes ade maroon ade maroon ade maroon yeah that's good of you clap for yourself clap for yourself clap for yourself <laughs> all right so let me recap again any ag eta erin arun that is the meaning of one two three four five any one a g two eta three erin four arun that is five now in their usage any that is one can be okon ikon or eyokon and the three of them can be abbreviated as kon i believe you remember that all right good the uh, two will become meji and how did i say two becomes meji okay good a few good of you i said we'll add the english letter uh, the, the english letter m in front of it which makes it meji when you are using it also to three to four to five even down down like that so three will become meta four becomes mary five becomes ma room ma room yeah that's good of you now we are moving to the next uh of uh, the next number which is six 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 in yoruba means efa efa now when you are making use of it you add the english letter m in front of it also which makes it me fa me fa if you want to make use of uh six for example maybe you want to say six plates six plates you know the plates you use to eat six plates now plates in yoruba means abo abo now six like i said when you are making of it is six it becomes me fa me fa now it will not become abo me fa that is six plates abo me fa <laughs> are you getting it now all right good of you we are moving to the next number which is seven seven in yoruba means aj aj but when you are making use of it you add the english alphabet or the english letter m in front of it and it becomes me j me j uh for example you want to say um seven okay seven what can i call it <laughs> okay 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 let me say seven food seven food or maybe somebody wants to give you food and you know, like ah, how many food do you need <laughs> i don't know if something like that can happen okay let's just imagine you are ordering for seven food you understand all right seven foods seven food now um food in yoruba means onje onje now and i said when you're making sub seven it becomes meji now seven food we become onje meji onje meji i believe you can finish seven food at once <laughs> don't try <laughs> all right good that's uh seven um the usage of seven now we are moving to the next number which is eight eight in yoruba means a jo a jo a jo now when you want to make use of eight you add the english uh the english letter m in front of it and it becomes major 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 for example you want to say 
eight clothes eight clothes and in yoruba clothes means asho asho now if clothes means asho and i said when you're making this of eight is major so it becomes what it becomes all right good of you that is eight clothes eight clothes asho major asho major eight clothes all right i'm glad uh at, at the way you are following me all right the next one is nine and nine means a song a song a song now when you want to make use of nine you add the english letter m in front of it and it becomes what me song me song now me song means nine when you are making use of it and for example you want to make use of nine and you say um something like nine baskets nine baskets now in yoruba baskets means akwere akwere now and i said when you're making use of nine nine becomes meson isn't it meson so that means nine basket will be what akwere meson akwere meson do you get that all right good of you so the last one we'll be considering today is 10 10 10 and 10 is uh, the meaning of 10 is ewa ewa now when you want to make use of 10 you add the english letter m in front of it and it becomes what me wa me wa me wa do you get that now all right take for instance you want to make it of 10 in yoruba and you want to say something like 10 brooms 10 brooms you know the broom used to sweep 10 brooms all right so we have something like broom in yoruba is igbale igbale now 10 i said 10 is what mewa all right so that becomes igbale mewa Igbale me wa. Do you get that? All right, good. Let me just uh, recap. Uh, let me come. Let me let, let me say it again. From one to ten, I said one to ten. The meaning is for one any two a g three eta four eri five aron six efa seven a j eight a j nine. A son, ten, a wa, one, o con, two, a g, three, a ta, four, a ring, five, a ring, six, a fa, seven, a j, eight, a jo, nine, a son, and ten, a wa. And when you are making use of it, it becomes one, o con, o con. Ayokon or Ikon two Meji three Meta four Mary five Maroon then repeat after what would be six six Me Fa good of you seven Me J okay eight Me Job all right nine me song good <laughs> and ten is what me wa clap for yourself clap. <laughs> yeah that's good of you i'm glad you know what my joy will be that you 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 be you, you are able to speak yoruba fluently just the way uh I, I i'm speaking it and i must tell you it's easy only if you can you know dedicate yourself to it and just create time for it you know just like you have been doing even more than that definitely you'll be surprised to how much you have learned over a period of time when you are consistent and persistent with it all right in our next episode we continue from where we stop we continue from 11 down to 20 um and i know you will not want to miss it yeah so see you in the next video